of Banksy's other works. Why are we doing this? Because I rather like Banksy. And oftentimes there's a deep sense of irony in many of his pieces, a uh, juxtaposition that tends to call out interesting elements of our society, holding a mirror really to the society today. This piece is one of them. So here we have Mickey Mouse and Ronald McDonald, these very cheerful characters, escorting a nude 12-year-old Vietnamese girl running from her village. And she's part of a photograph, a very famous photograph, uh, from the Vietnam War that ran in Life magazine. And here Banksy is using that visual imagery to show us sort of that hidden element of America that we don't tend to think about. We think about uh, the good times, McDonald's and Disney. We don't tend to think about things like the horrors of the Vietnam War. He also looks at, for example, police uh, militarization and police brutality. Here we have a young boy who's about to pop this brown paper bag behind a cop. And in doing so, will ultimately startle the cop and we don't know what's going to happen. Uh, so this is looking at the militarization of the police. I mean, after all, why did the police need this kind of rifle? And it's looking at police brutality and overreaction, which we often see. On the other side, we have things that are hidden under the cultural carpet. So here, just like this woman is African-American or black woman is sort of pushing the dust under this plaster, under the wall, according to Banksy, society is doing that all the time. When we look at things like uh, inherent racism or look at income inequality. We kind of sweep it under the rug and say, oh, it's just this thing. It just happens. It's part of life. Here we have a piece looking at economic growth at the expense of children and families and others. This idea that we're going to plunk down a factory and take away people's land in doing so or we're going to take away a park or a public space so that we can build something that will quote unquote develop the economy. Here, very famous piece uh, painted in Calais at the jungle, which is a massive or was a massive immigrant camp in France. And here we see Steve Jobs as if he was one of these immigrants. Jobs himself is done in about six different colors all with stencil, all very quickly done, and the message is really clear. Any one of these immigrants that we try and turn away could in fact be the next Steve Jobs, could in fact be the next person to come up with the next big thing. And then of course famously at Dismaland, and I did say Dismaland, D-I-S-M-A-L-A-N-D, Banksy creates this installation. Here we see Cinderella having crashed in her, uh, her chariot, her cart, and the horses are strewn about. And what do we have? Instead of anyone helping, what we have is a group of photographers sitting here taking photos. This is, of course, referencing the death of Princess Diana, who it's thought... Uh, was running from the paparazzi when there was the car accident in Paris, which ended up killing her. It's also thought that the paparazzi showed up before EMS and actually took photos of her dying without providing any assistance. The belief is that there is still a roll of film out there that someone simply hasn't put out yet uh, for fear of being brought up on homicide charges. But this is how we treat these celebrities. Suddenly they're celebrity, not human. We're not helping them. We're, suddenly, we're simply taking advantage of them.